you. Coming to the doctors. Hi. Take a new picture. You're a big boy. Minus 44. What is that? You got your phone because I'm horrible at math. Mm -hmm. So it's your pump refilled? I like your blue bandana. That's a shirt. I'm gonna have his pump refilled. That's really fun. After his bath, we can help with the stage. He's very happy. No more anxiety. Ready to roll. Out of here. Bing bang. How do you feel about that? Huh? How fast that was? If you didn't have a half day, I'd take you back to school. You don't need to go to school today. It's Friday, and this morning, Daniel had an appointment at Yale with his neurosurgeon to have his baclofen pump refilled. And we went there, and that got done really, really fast. Everything went well. Uh, Daniel's always very anxious before the procedure because it's a needle stick, you know. After it was done, he was happy again. We came back home, and now I'm in the car, and I'm driving to New York City music is loud <laughs> sorry so I'm driving to New York City because Thomas is playing on Carnegie Hall this this evening at 7 so I was gonna either take the train or drive I'm in a little traffic right now because this is just construction but this is a small section anyway I decided just to drive well I could take the train but the train would probably get me into the city at least an hour longer than it would if I drive myself but then I'll be there to watch the performance of the wind ensemble on Carnegie Hall I probably will not be able to record anything but that's okay <laughs> it's Carnegie Hall they have strict rules but there I am on the Henry Hudson Parkway about 20 minutes away from Carnegie Hall parking that I'm going to traffic's a little slow tis normal like right before the George Washington Bridge intersection I gotta fix my eyebrows tried to make them dramatic but they came out kind of funky because it was dark <laughs> the quest for eyebrows anyway I'm enjoying my drive to be honest it's been such a pretty drive the sky is so crystal blue pretty gonna concentrate and uh get myself there and parked and i don't know if i'm gonna find thomas or not i don't i hope he's not waiting for me if he needs to go have fun with his friends he can i just need to get off of this parkway and into the city and yeah people drive crazy but i'm kind of used to it i think from four years of Sarah being in school here, so it is all good.
Central Park. I have two hours until Thomas performs. I thought I was gonna have dinner with him, but I guess he, uh, I couldn't find him. <laughs> He's with his friends, so that's fine. I just thought I would take a walk for a little bit. See, I'm in the city. So pretty, it's just a gorgeous day. There's a wedding taking pictures up here, it's really pretty. crazy. I'm in New York by myself walking around. It's so nice out. I'm down near Central Park. Um, Sixth Avenue, somewhere like that. I've been going to Carnegie Hall in a little while, but I have an hour and a half, two hours. I don't know what to do. I have nothing to do. <laughs> I already ate. I'm by myself, but I'm like taking pictures. So now I'm driving out of the city. You know, I'm just remembering another time I had the same exact kind of feeling I'm having right now. I just felt this like kind of feeling you can't really swallow it down, right? It's like stuff in your throat. You just, I've been feeling on that edge. I don't know what is wrong with me. I came into the city. I felt like crying like the minute I got off the I got out of the car. <laughs> it's how 
Travis took the bus. He could have ridden home. You know, I could have gone with their parents, but that was a really fun time. So they're with their friends. Anyway, I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why I feel like I don't have. I don't know, I feel like I'm just an outsider to everything. I'm floating along. Even here. I don't. I just don't connect with people. That's just how I feel. Why, how, I don't really know. But that's just how I feel.